In this video, we will be looking at horizontal dilations of functions. And to begin, we're going to do an investigation of the effect of the parameter a on the following functions on your screen. On your screen, you can see the original functions graphed. If we start our slider, you notice that as a gets bigger, there is a, hor a horizontal dilation. When x goes in towards the negatives, you can see that there was a reflection along the y-axis. So notice that with the horizontal dilations, the higher the value of a, the more the graph is compressed along the x-axis from left to right. This is an inverse variation, and the scale factor for horizontal dilations is 1 over a. This is because the horizontal dilation affects the x values of the function. On you can, your screen, you can see an example of why your scale factor is 1 over a. So with horizontal dilations, we know that it stretches the curve horizontally by a scale factor of 1 over a. If a is greater than 1, greater than 1 the graph is compressed. If a is between 0 and 1, the graph is stretched. On your screen, you can th see three examples. The blue line is your original cubic function, and the graph, the green line, is your compressed graph. Your purple line is your stretched graph. As you saw in the investigation, when you have a negative scale factor, there is a reflection on the y-axis. We'll now answer some questions. Describe whether the constant describes a horizontal or a vertical dilation and state the scale factor. Notice that with this example, the two is inside the brackets connected with the x. This indicates that it is a horizontal dilation. where a equals 2, and it has a scale factor of 1 over a, which is 1 over 2. Again, with this example, the over 3 is inside the brackets, therefore it is a horizontal dilation. where a equals 1 over 3, therefore it has a scale factor of 1 over 3, which is 3. Again, notice that the 3 is connected to the x, therefore it is a horizontal dilation. where a equals 3 with a scale factor 1 over 3. Notice that in here we have a negative 1 times 5 to the power of x. Because our negative 1 is not connected to the x, this is a vertical dilation where k equals negative 1. Find the equation of each transformed graph. y equals x squared is dilated horizontally with a scale factor of 3. So we know our scale factor is 1 over a. So if 3 equals 1 over a, a must equal 1 over 3. We now can substitute this into the formula. Remember, y equals ax squared. Therefore, our transformed graph that has been dilated horizontally is x over 3 to the power of 2. Point x, negative 2, 7, lies on y equals fx, 
Find the coordinate of the image given the scale factor is A equals 3. Uh, notice with this question there's an error given A equals 3. Because remember the scale factor is not what A equals. You use A to find the scale factor. So our scale factor is 1 over A, which is 1 over 3 in our case. Now remember, horizontal dilations only affect the x-coordinate. So our original was negative 2, 7. And our transformed will be negative 2 times 1 over 3. which is negative 2 over 3, with an x-coordinate of negative 2 over 3 and a y-coordinate of 7. To recap the video, remember, y equals f bracket ax close bracket stretches the curve horizontally along the x-axis by a scale factor of 1 over a. If a is greater than 1, the graph is compressed. If a is between 0 and 1, the graph is stretched, as seen in the example. Reflections in the y-axis, if you have a negative scale factor, there is a reflection on the y-axis as seen in your example there.